Karen finds out about the engagement. Karen finds out about the engagement. What's good, y'all? It's your sister Erica Van coming to you right here on Erica Van TV. And that's the only intro I got for you, okay? In this video, we are going to be breaking down season five, episode number 14, the teaser. I already do have on the channel a trailer breakdown because a episode 14 trailer was leaked before. So be sure to watch that as well as this video is really just going to be focusing on what we see in this tape in this teaser in particular. But with that trailer, it's a little bit longer. And I do put a bunch of predictions in there as well. And not much has really changed. Um, because the teaser has looks like it's really focusing a lot on Karen. But in the trailer, there was a bit more of some other character things. Oh, my word. Before I even get into this, have you subscribed yet? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my sister's videos. I come to you week to week doing episode breakdowns as well as episode previews and then additional character conversations as more things develop around our favorite characters in the sister's universe. Episode 13 to me was a little bit slow. It was definitely a little bit of setup and episode 14 is giving nothing but volatile and the energy and um, excitement, the drama of it all. It's back in full effect and I'm going to go through um, in order and let's talk about it without further ado. Okay, y'all, with the teaser opening, it we get to see Karen, Andy inside of the Taylor's home, which I'm expecting that we're going to spend a good amount of time in this episode in this house because Karen has to have her whole meltdown after discovering that they are engaged. She was called over last episode by Zach because Fatima felt as though it was time for him to actually have a conversation with her. And I really do believe that Fatima wanted Zach to call because Andy found out. And she knew Andy was going to run her mouth. Now, Andy did not tell Karen, but, you know, her track record definitely points to being Miss Runtel that. And Fatima, being the proactive, mature person that she is, wanted Zach to call her over like, yo, we need to go ahead and get a lot of things out there so it just doesn't come off wrong. However, as we can see within the first few seconds of this teaser, things are still going to kind of come off wrong. And it's honestly like, it's not really much you could really do for Tima. So girl, you have done the best that you possibly can. Karen is going to react how she's going to react. She is jealous of your position. She is jealous of y'all's relationship. She is really struggling with grief around the loss of this relationship while also still trying to be happy for herself and finally becoming a mother. Like there's a lot of emotions that are happening within Karen's heart and brain and it's causing her to act erratic it's causing her to do too much at times it's causing her to be overly emotional and it happens now if you're new here and you don't know i actually love karen as a character i also love fatima as a character yes i can do both i don't give a damn what y'all talking about so argue with y'all some mamas and over here we provide characters like karen with empathy because it's real and I'm very much so appreciative of actually being able to see a black woman act out these things because more often than not, a lot of us have been in these situations and we have held on to the aggression, to the frustration, to the dismissal, to the feelings of disrespect and internalize those things and it has caused us additional problems versus being able to express it, go through whatever we're going through and push through quickly, well not quickly but well, for Tyler Perry's timeline, this is kind of quick. Um, push through it versus sitting and having it be a thing that plagues us for years that we're not actually healed from. Quick little spark notes for y'all. I do believe that Karen is actively moving through the process of letting Zach go. Yes, plenty of y'all want her to go ahead and move on already. Y'all want her to just stop talking about him, thinking about him, whatever. It's a little bit more complicated than that. She is pregnant with this man's child. She is in love with this man. She thought that the fairy tale was going to include this man and to actually see the fairy tale still happening, but without her, it's a lot. And if you don't agree, then your ass is lying. And I'm perfectly fine with that, but I don't actually converse with liars, so I'm gonna keep it moving. Now, the first scene in this teaser, we get to see Karen fussing about these pictures make me bad and this make me bad. Like she looking at the duplex like this is supposed to be mine, baby. What is going on? And is she wrong? Yes. But is she wrong for how she feels? No. Again, it has happened to the best of us. 
go ahead and argue and lie to y'all's mamas, okay? Um, so I'm not really mad at like her response. This is her first time actually being inside the duplex and actually getting to see it. And I think it's going to be an uphill battle with Karen in reference to releasing her idea of what was supposed to be for her life. I think that it is a tremendously difficult thing to watch your dreams come true with the person you want your dreams to come true with and they are doing it with somebody else. It's just hard, period. There is no quick pill to get over it. There is no amount of like, cut it off and just move on. That That's not how humans work, baby. And if you saying that that's how it works, then you lying and you're gonna have a nice little therapy bill about 10, 15 years from now because you ain't deal with this stuff in this moment. So I personally am not mad at Karen for losing it. We get to see also um, <laughs> Fatima rolling her eyes and Zach looking all concerned and he's standing behind her. I love how like as a unit they are standing because we know in the last episode, Zach did not want to call Karen over. Zach is 100% okay with running from all of his problems and any of the mess that he has uh, drummed up. Meanwhile, Fatima is trying to address and face things head on. And I'm really, tr I'm really kind of getting annoyed with it. I'm getting annoyed with Zach's reactivity versus K Fatima's proactivity, especially because most of this sh it don't have nothing to do with her. Aside from this slight end drama that y'all literally blew out of proportion, Fatima has not brought any drama to this man's life. And yes, I'm including Hayden because that's not her damn fault. No drama. Meanwhile, Zach has a laundry list of drama. And no, not all of everybody's responses from Zach's past is Zach's responsibility, but Zach's lack of proactivity is his responsibility. And I said what I said. Now, in this moment, we get a dramatic beat where we get to see Karen actually see <laughs> the engagement ring and it's long and it's drawn out. And it's the thing that actually stops her in her tracks and shuts her up. And I just know that this, this is going to hurt mama. This, this is going to be something that she sits with. But there's so much more that happens in this little 20 second teaser. So like, let's go ahead and keep moving. From there, we go back to Andy's penthouse where the girls were already planning to meet up. So keep in mind, y'all, Karen stops by on her way to Andy's house because that called her randomly and she decided to go because she needed to tell him. Now in this teaser, it's not really clear if she does tell him that the baby is his and that she did what Fatima said and the doctor confirmed it and all of that even though and, and with that said I think that she does I'm hoping that she does I'm hoping that the the wedding ring doesn't change anything for her like I know what's going to make put her in a very emotional place a, maybe a sad place but I still want her to say okay Fatima I did what you said even if she's angry about it because she's pissed about this ring get it out there so that they have all the information that she has and everybody can move forward like 100% clean slate this is exactly where we're at now again we from that we get the scene with them going back to Andy's penthouse and Karen asks did you know that they were engaged and Andy responds yes now I am on Andy's head often because I do believe that she behaves very dumbly <laughs> And I'm trying not to call her stupid, but she behaves in ways that don't make sense for the amount of education that she is seemingly supposed to have. I am uh, once again on her head. And again, y'all can argue with y'all's damn mamas or each other in the comment. Uh, actually, not each other in the comment section, because I want to save space for people who are proactive and we are not keeping that Twitter, Facebook energy over here. OK, be clear. This is Erica Vane TV. I run this. Just for all the new folks, because it's a lot of y'all. Shout out to the 21,000 subscribers. Um, Andy, I am back on your head because you should have mind your damn business. Last episode, when she cornered Fatima and made her sit down as if she was trying to have a boss to employee conversation, but she is questioning Fatima about her goddamn personal life because she sees this tan line for this ring on her finger and Fatima hasn't revealed it to her. And Fatima low key like a dummy just and within this friendship because I do believe that Fatima allow I mean yeah I do believe that Fatima allows Andy to do entirely too much within their friendship boss or not 
as a friend on a personal note, you, you're you doing right, Fatima, by keeping things close to the chest when it comes to Andy because her ass is inconsistent and I don't believe that she is a solid friend. She might want to be a solid friend, but her ass is not. You actually trying to, or actually not trying, making Fatima tell you about this damn ring was stupid on your part, Andy. 100% stupid and it shows me exactly how much of an inconsistent friend you are because that's none of your damn business. One, if Fatima didn't come out and tell you and if she's taking that damn thing off in this office, it's for a reason. As her friend, you should be able to think and go ahead and roll with it. You can peep it, make a note, and then when she come to tell you, be like, oh yeah, girl, I noticed that three weeks ago and I, I'm happy for you regardless, but I wasn't going to put you on the spot. You don't do that. You put her ass on the spot. And then not only do you do that, you put her on the spot about two hours before Karen goes and finds out. So then now you're asked and put yourself in a tricky spot with Karen because you knew some information that she would want to know that you actually can't share because you're trying to be loyal to this friend with Fatima. But then also you want to try to be loyal to Karen. And if your ass did not make Fatima tell you, you wouldn't have known. So you would have been able to look at Karen and be like, yeah, I did not know. I promise you, friend. But I did want to go over there to support you because I understand understand how this is a very emotional and trying situation to be in but no you don't do that Andy your goofy ass can't seem to think of these things to do if you are going to be Fatima's friend and if you're going to be Karen's friend your ass needs to be moving on a need to know basis with whatever information on both sides because it's already tricky and you too damn nosy you too damn giddy you too damn messy to positively navigate both of these friendships. And at some point, your ass is going to have to choose because of your personality, not because it can't be done. I literally just laid out how it should be done. And I'm sorry I just took a second in this teaser breakdown to lay Andy's ass out, but this frustrated me. Because yes, Karen, you're going to express blame or like look for somewhere to direct this energy and you frustrated. And I'm not saying that she's right for doing it y'all, but I'm saying it's a normal reaction. I am more so looking at Andy in this moment because her ass didn't even need to know this information two hours before she had no idea. And she would have had 100% plausible deniability. And the rest of this evening would have went a lot differently. But the fact that you knew changes a lot. Yeah, I said what I said. Y'all can talk about that in the comment section, but I said what I said. And Andy just got to do damn better because I'm tired. I'm tired of her, her, her doing dumb shit in her own life, messing her own life up. And then I'm tired of her being an inconsistent friend. It's like, girl, why are you here? Because the looks is not enough, honey. You giving me a great lip and this, this bomb ass outfit is not enough. At this point, you're just annoying the hell out of me on screen. Almost as much as the, as, as Gary and Hayden. And, and that's getting to very treacherous territory. Now, after Andy says, yes, she knew about it, Karen responds, you knew about this the whole time. This is where Andy can say, I don't know if she's going to say, because she's also seemingly playing a little bit coy in the scene. I don't know, girl, I can't. She can say like, no, I just found out about it. I just saw earlier and she didn't really confirm or deny, whatever, whatever. But the point is you should have left well enough goddamn alone, Andy. Now, fast forward to the next scene, we get to see Karen meeting up with Aaron. <sighs> and not the rebound of it all oh, Karen girl I know you just want to be loved mama I know you just want to be wanted and accepted and ideally you would want that from Zach but that's not gonna happen but also girl where's your journal baby <laughs> where's your journal and your bible because we need to go to the Lord at this point we need to do some more processing alone versus all of this interactions y'all already know when i did my like episode i think 13 preview video i didn't want her to go to meet up with the girls i didn't want her to do a bunch of things like i want karen to be off processing on her own because a lot of times this stuff gets worse and yes aaron has been a great influence but now we're getting into territory where girl this is very much so giving reactionary to what you just saw in reference to the duplex and and Zach standing behind Fatima and they is now engaged and as a knee-jerk reaction you gonna go to Aaron and just accept all that he's offering when girl you know that you're not at a place and you're not ready to accept all that he's offering now mind you I do think that Karen and Aaron can be a phenomenal couple I think that their relationship could go on to be Maybe not in y'all's eyes because y'all are like in love with the aesthetic of it all in reference to the Tima. But I do think they could be more solid than um, 
than what we see in references to Zazima once Karen works through all of the things that she got going on just because Aaron is really, 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 really solid. Um, and Karen, in my opinion, is in the process of working through those things. Even these like weird ass responses and erratic behavior is a part of the work. Um, and Zach to me isn't necessarily doing enough work. I think that Aaron and Karen could be really, really great. However, she's going to have to release and heal before this can happen. And that is not happening tonight, girl. So you pulling this man up and telling him how you feel, it just do not need to be happening tonight. But yet still, in this teaser, it is happening tonight. Oh, Tyler Perry. She thanks him for being consistent, y'all. And it definitely looks... I don't know. Girl... Oh, oh, let me just say this. Karen, if you're going to go here and you're going to start to fall into Aaron's arms, just be honest about everything because clearly he can handle it. Tell him exactly what happened. You went over to the house. This was said. This was said. You said this. bop de bop de boop You saw the ring. This is how you feel about it. I would love that. Go ahead and like profess whatever the hell you about to profess as long as you're also going to give him all the context. And, and again, I think that that would be fire and I could see that for their relationship and then from there y'all the, the teaser just kind of takes a little turn because then we get to see Gary trying to apologize to the girls or specifically apologizing to what looks like Danny um now that he's dressed and it's because he was naked when she walked in or this could actually be him apologizing for being a shitty dude this whole entire time because Sabrina also is seen at the very end talking about something you could just do the right thing and that don't have nothing to do with him being naked, but it could have something to do with all the sh that we done dealt with with him and Andy. Who knows? But those are my thoughts on the tray on a teaser for episode 14. Again, I do have an episode 14 trailer breakdown as well. So go ahead and click the video right here so that you can jump into that and see all of my predictions from the actual teaser that was leaked about a week and a half ago. And then let me know in, your, in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts? What are your theories? What are your predictions? So that we can go ahead and chop it up and keep the conversation going. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.